Hey guys, this is a short video about VFX techniques I use to animate in Spine. This is the basic sequence, which is being deformed to match the shape of the stuff. And over it, I would just place this texture. Now, that's a great technique. And we have done this character in other tutorial video on this channel. But today, I want to do it in a different way. For that, let me grab another character. I want to find that explosion sequence here in the image folder and drag the first image into the viewport. It's just a region attachment. I need to convert it to sequence attachment. So we see sequence in action and we are able to animate it. So what I want to do is first convert it to mesh and make sure it covers the stuff. We don't see the stuff here, so maybe we can uh, move this below the stuff. Find the attachment, click this button to select in slot order and just drag it below the stuff. Edit the mesh and we are free to basically cut it out. So at the end, I'm going to delete these extra outlines. This will basically wrap around that sequence. I will fast forward this portion. Do not waste your time here. Now let's delete another layer. And nice part that we can already delete this inner portions. Just deleting these blue edges. But all that is nice until we have some portion that is inside the mesh. There is no um, way to do that in spine. But we have a workaround and I'm going to show it to you. Uh, in edit mode, make sure to find the shortest way that uh, the inner portion can escape. This would be it for me. Yeah, now let's delete outer edges again. Um, I'm going to move this so I can delete that. Nice. And let's move this so we can delete this. Nice. Great. So we can bring them closer, but we cannot overlap one mesh uh, over itself. And there will be some limit. You can't just go inside that mesh. You can bring it super close. And if that's uh, fine with you, go with that. But if you want to uh, make sure that there is no line in any case, just exit edit mode and overlap them outside. Select that mesh, select that slot. We need to put over the stuff. Make sure that it is moving with the stuff. Great. Let's go to animation mode. Find the moment it hits. This is where I want to see the animation. Find that sequence attachment. Click on this key and select um, once. Let's set the starting frame from one. I will make sure that we see all the sequence, all the frames, just uh, increasing the FPS. It's matching actually our timeline FPS. This is beautiful for me, considering the amount of um, resources we used. We have some detailed mesh and no additional texture. We spent some 10 minutes or maybe 15. That's a great effect. And now our magic uh, looks integrated with the stuff. You also can additionally convert it to um, additive to make it bright. Let's see that. To make it even richer, you can duplicate that and just delay one of them. Let's say this can start one frame after and animate even faster. Maybe two frames. So it's kind of will hit uh, twice. And that's it. Thanks for watching and interacting with this channel in any way. I'm very happy answering all your comments and seeing all your likes. Subscribe to note the next videos. And special thanks to all the supporters on YouTube or Patreon. I am really passive now uploading and interacting with you guys. I wish I had more time, but I'm, I'm really grateful for your support. Really, thanks.